Welcome everyone to Van Life Sheldon's Travel. Good morning everybody. Well, this morning we're right here in Mountain Home, Idaho. And we actually went to Curious Carly's Road Life event. We stayed here the night, got some food, but now we're actually gonna head on back to Yellowstone. We got some friends and CVK meeting us there. So everyone's heading towards Yellowstone. We're gonna stop by something interesting on the way. It's about a four hour trip, but we're gonna make it today and we're gonna bring you guys with us. Let's get the day started and see what we can get into guys. Well, after about four hours of driving, voila, we're here. We're in Blackfoot, Idaho, and we're at the... The Potato Museum. Wow, so we're gonna go inside. I think it's like three or four or five bucks uh, each to see around, so look around. So we're gonna do it. Let's take you with us. Come on inside, guys. out the train real quick look at this guys they have an old train out here it's pretty stationary now but look what's coming Here we go. Very nice. Play up there. Come on. Come on in. Don't be shy. Welcome to our home. I'm Buzz the Spud, and this is my wife, Tater Patty, and our youngest, Tater Tom. Well, we made it inside. There is a small entry fee to the museum. It's not bad. I think it was like four fifty a person because military discount, but normally five dollars. They have a little pay scale. It's not much. You can look around. We're gonna bring you with us. So come on, enjoy this place with us.
the mashers of all different kinds. Wow. What'd you find up there, Steph, in the potato lab? What do you got? We got a little potato table. Mm -hmm. Oh, little wow. Fun facts. Uh, this one's pretty cool. French fries were introduced to the U.S. when Thomas Jefferson served them in the White House. And no place would be complete without some Mr. Potato Heads. I mean, and wired walkie talkies. Wow. Some interactive things for the kids. And a lot of the toys from the Potato Head era. Even Star Wars got into it. Spider-Man. Wow. Me and Steph talking on some walkie-talkies. Walkie, walkie, talkie, talkie. Hey, that's just acting silly, right? Check this out, this is the Guinness Book of World Records, largest chip. We enjoyed walking around the museum and I hope you did too. We like to support these little towns. It was actually $4 a person or $3.50 with a military discount. So I think I said it was a little more earlier, but it was well worth it. But we're going to get back in the, in the van and head on. Well, here we go. Back on the road, guys. Well, it says it's going to take us 54 minutes and another 57 miles to get there, but we'll bring you with us, guys. Well, after another hour of driving, we made it right here to the Walmart. There's a Panda Express in the, in the parking lot, so we're going to hit that up, and then we're going to go to Anytime Fitness and take a nice hot shower. Then we'll come back here and spend the night. So let's go inside and get some dinner. Well, we forgot to show you when we got started, but uh, getting a little, we share a three plate here at Panda Express, and it works out. We got some crab ragus that we already ate, but we're gonna get out of here and get us a shower here in a few minutes. Well, 
after dinner we actually went to the anytime fitness right here in Rexburg Idaho and took a nice hot shower they even have towel service which was really nice wasn't it yeah, yeah. it's a plus a couple places a couple of the anytime fitnesses give you a towel and that's really nice uh, we're gonna end this video right here Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check us out on Facebook and Patreon. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, Have a good guys. night, guys. They're red, they're white, they're brown. They get their way underground. There can't be much to do. So now they have blue and two. We don't care what they look like, we'll eat them. Any way they can fit on our plate. Every way we can cut their knees. Sometimes we ditch the skin to eat what it's holding in. Sometimes we'd rather please have just the outside with cheese. They have eyes, but they do not have faces. I don't know if their feelings get hurt by just hanging around in dark places. But I only can stare at the curves. I guess the use is scant for other parts of the plant, but that which grows in you is eating potato too. I imagine them under their acres, out in Idaho, way up in Maine, maybe wondering if they'll be makers or conditions or lack of playing. And don't forget to click on that subscribe button or the Patreon button or one of our hundreds of videos in our playlist below. Thanks, honey. Well, that's the end of our little show. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye now.